that determines whether or not I am considered a star in this cruise. Your spot I think I even have one more announcement. You see, you see the kind of respect I get? Well, go ahead, Paul. You want me to leave the stage? You do you, John. Whatever you prefer. If you want to stand back here and heckle. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, they have asked me to announce uh, to avoid chaos at the info desk of everyone trying to just pick a prize, the winners of the regular raffle, that big list of names. Each of you will be assigned a prize, but you are free to trade, if you wish, with another prize winner. How you go about that is up to you. That kind of administrative baloney announcement was enough to interrupt my whole show? Yeah. Your whole show? You've been oh, out here for a minute. This was my minute, though. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, yeah! <laughs> it, was, it was my show until you got out here. You guys get out of here! Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome back to the stage, John! <laughs> Woo! Give me that suborn applause. <laughs> so the Joko Cruise, the Joko Cruise has long pushed the boundaries of the very meaning of famous person. <laughs> and in that spirit, Tonight, you have come to the 21st century definition of a celebrity game show! So please, let's welcome back to the stage a man who for a long time has been known as the villain of this cruise. And I don't mean me. But who, after tonight, and after his command performance here, I think we can all agree is the sweetheart of the Joko Cruz, Mr. John Hodgman! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for that kind of introduction. Thanks very much for that welcome Stop. So I mean, really. Okay, here we are. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun, a lot of our celebrity performers and uh, people and fun guests and so forth going to be playing some fun time party games. It's a series of games that I did not make up. Here we are on a boat full of game makers. <laughs> and I did no game show, I just stole a bunch of game shows. <laughs> and we're going to do that instead. Starting with the game show that was on television for a long time. What's the name of the game show, John? Uh, I have here on the piece of paper that you just wrote backstage. Game one. What's my line? What's my line? So, John, can you tell us the? Uh, can you give us a, a brief description for anyone in the audience who wasn't alive in the 1950s <laughs> uh, watching television? What is what's my line? What's my line is a game where there is a mystery guest. You don't know anything about this person, and we have three panelists who try to figure out what this person does for a living by asking yes or no answers. And how did you uh, choose this mystery guest? Well, in fact, this mystery guest chose me, John, after our first hot tub office hours, I was approached <coughs> at the bar by a woman. And, no, it's fine. And she said, I have an interesting job. Please don't tell anyone it. And I said, I have an idea. Let's get you in front of a crowd. <laughs> And uh, why don't we bring her out now? Her name is Jennifer. Jennifer, will you come out? <laughs> so nice to see you, Jennifer. Did I misrepresent our meeting in any way? Oh, here. Please take the microphone. It's like a regular phone, but smaller. Now, is it? I think it's working, huh? Yeah. Good. Uh, here's John Roderick, our Thank announcer you. for the day, and our timekeeper because there are some time limits to be observed. <coughs> so, Jennifer, you said you had a very interesting job. You asked me not to reveal it, and I didn't to anyone. I have not mentioned it to anyone on this cruise, 
I've kept it a complete secret. We're going to have three of our 21st century definition of celebrities to come up here uh, just to begin, and we'll be bringing more and more up as we go. So I'm going to start with, let's say, uh, Jonathan Colton, Molly Lewis, and Will Wheaton, if you're available. Yeah. Yeah. One of those people, an actual celebrity in the world. Jennifer, can you tell me uh, if your job is exposed during this show, will it compromise you in, in, in your job? That, don't answer, Jennifer, yet. Sorry, that was one of the questions, I guess. Well, any question is a question. The way this... <laughs> Think about it. Think about it. The way this works, and, and certainly I'll allow that question to be asked by you, even if you would like to be a panelist, we'll just move right along there, but... Oh, hello. Uh, hello, celebrities, you may use the microphone, you're all well trained in it. And the way that this game works is, here's Jennifer. Jennifer, have you met Jonathan and Molly and Will? Lee? Hi, Jennifer. <laughs> Would you like to... I think you should, you should stand up here with me. And, uh... This is a little awkward. Yeah, yeah, awkward. 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 You'll be, be here, all right, good. Now, this way we can all sort of see each other, and you can turn to them, or, or not, if you wish to avoid their gaze. But the people in the front can't see me now. <laughs> <laughs> what, if I, what if I do some podium comedy? <laughs> all these people are like, well, Fair enough. So... <laughs> Pretty low. The way, the way this works, John, is I'll always be blocking someone's view of you, no matter where I am on the stage. You see what I'm saying? That's been true ever since we became friends. Oh. <laughs> so Jennifer has a job. You guys are going to try to figure out what that job is. And you can do it. What? No, no, no. What? You can do it by ready to guess. Oh, you want to guess? Yeah. You play, you have a guess? Sure, go ahead. It's very unorthodox, but... You saw the sort of things off the heads of narwhals and polish it into uh, cookware. No. It's a great guess, but... but I really thought I'd be looking at it. I was like, 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 I was Well, wait a minute. Now, can I just tell you what the rules of the game are? It's my one job. <laughs> So, you did the right thing, you asked a yes or no question. It can be any yes or no question, including, do you saw the tusks off narwhals or whatever it was. So if she said no, it then goes to Molly. Molly, if you can ask any question you want. If you get a yes, then you can continue to ask, ask questions until you get a no, at gaining information all along the way. Once she says no, then it goes to Jonathan, and then John to you, as our bonus panelist. <laughs> There is a strict 10 minute time limit on this because we have to keep things moving along. And if you don't guess by the end of it, it is up to Jennifer as to whether or not she will wish to reveal it. I know. <laughs> but, uh, and the prize for the winner shall be pride. Okay, so, John Robert, would you please start the clock? Uh, I have a question. For whom? For you. Sure. Um, uh, on a classic television game show, What's My Line? The, uh, the the mine hammer would uh, did, would tell the panelists if their job involved uh, a product or a service. Yeah, but we have to change it up a little bit so that I can steal it. <laughs> but I think that that's fair. fair. I think that's fair. I did download an episode of What's My Line uh, when I was in the Internet Cafe in St. Martin. Uh, I didn't have time to watch it. So. <laughs> It will be fun to watch it later. <laughs> and if we have time, I want to tell you a story about something that happened in that internet cafe, but right now we really need to get to this game. <laughs> if, the, if the prize is pride, only Molly Lewis is not already brimming over. <laughs> She's the only person you could possibly gain from this. Oh, what? these odds. Yeah. <laughs> nowhere, higher for me now. nowhere to go, but up. Um, so, I think that's fair, though, if, if, since you are such an aficionado, really, of the original What's My Line. Do not recognize our current mark. Do I do not recognize Do you want me to change my name to Maul with one L? Please, would you? Thank you. Thank you. You're a so, friend, Maul. 
Now, the, so the question, and, we'll, and this will be a fair question, and the only not yes or no question we'll ask before we finally play this dumb thing, is do you what, make a product or provide a service? Yeah, does your job involve a product or does your job involve a service? My job involves a service. All right. And now we're really off to the races, right? Right. Hi. Molly Lewis, ask your first question. Oh, are we at the clock? The clock is start. The clock is start. Molly, go. Do you work with animals? No. Are you involved with science and technology? Yes. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> you, you get to ask another right. point. Yeah, that's right. You don't, you don't realize that you're being punished. You have to ask again. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, um, does your job uh, involve uh, computers, not in the sense of the way everybody uses computers to, to use email, but does it directly involve computers? Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> no running out the clock. Uh, do you yourself write software? No. John Roderick, over to you. Do you work for a government agency? No. Definitely not. Oh. <laughs> does, your, does your job, when you are performing your service, do you perform your service for uh, more than one person at a time? Probably not. <laughs> I'm going to allow you to ask a follow-up on that one. <laughs> uh, does your, is your job uh, uh, enabled by the existence of widespread high-speed internet? Yes. Does your job require you to uh, work from the same uh, basic location every time you perform your service? No. All right. Are there certain things about your job that you cannot disclose to us for like NDA reasons? <coughs> no. Oh. Are, <laughs> are you are you in the in the in the uh, providing of the service? Are you responsible for generating? Content as part of that job? No. Go ahead, John Robert. Why are you giving me that face? You said no, and then you made a squinty face. I'm having a really hard time with it. Yes, no. It's your job, man. I don't, I don't, know. <laughs> I don't, think don't bully Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer, does your job take place on the dark web? Um, Jennifer, um, do you work uh, for a, uh, do you, are you employed by a corporation? No. But big, simple questions like that are very helpful in getting, ruling out Well, stuff. I did play this game professionally for some time in my life. <laughs> Not government, not, not corporate. Not government, not corporate. Computers. Enabled by high speed internet. Um, yeah, but that could be anything. Yes. Not necessarily. Enabled by high speed internet? We're all enabled by high speed internet. Yeah. 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 The, job, the job only exists because high speed internet exists. Right. So it's so presumably. By the way, I suppose we support this kind of collusion. Presumably, this job involves the transmission of large amounts of data. Uh, in a way that would be prohibitive uh, before you were born. I'm not, I'm not sure if sure. it has to, but it requires as much of it as, as it is enabled by high speed internet. Is that, is that, uh, is that correct? That's correct. Okay. That was your yes to keep going. That was a question about order. Well, you turn, it's Molly's turn. It's Molly's turn. It's Molly's turn. You're out of order. No, he made a question. What? <laughs> you know, she, no, it's not a corporation. It's not a corporation. Um, <laughs> I'm say, I um, what did you say, Jennifer? I said I couldn't hear what they were 
Oh, oh it's because we're whispering. Oh, oh, I, 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 I just heard myself. Why do you keep making that sound? No. <laughs> Look, we're all here to have a good time, right? So if you're not employed by a corporation or by the government, are you self-employed? No. Good question. <laughs> we are now at five minutes. Oh, uh, boy. Uh, not a corporation. Not self-employed. Did you already ask if, we work, if she works for the government? Yes, it is. The answer is no. What else, what else is there? Yeah, I yeah, it's the it doesn't involve the I'll, I'll add one yell from the audience. Nonprofit! 800 that was people. Yells. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, but that was not for well, you. Know, there, might have, there might have been some good uh, signal in that voice. Ask a. Nonprofit! That's enough yelling. Yeah, do, do you work for a nonprofit? I do work for yeah. uh -huh. So the, the, job, the, the job that you do is, is beneficial to humans in some way. Yes. Primarily, yes. <laughs> Keep going, Joe. Okay. Beneficial to humans. A nonprofit. You work for a nonprofit that is beneficial to humans doing a job that is enabled by the internet. Uh, is it related to, uh, to counseling of some kind? No. I like that question, John. Thanks. Thanks, John. John Ryder, would you be more comfortable sitting down? Okay, good. Uh, uh, is your job uh, of an international scope? Yes. Go get a job. Are you paid in U.S. dollars? Yes. And you just bought yourself a yes. That was good. You're staying alive. <laughs> but you know what? It's information. Uh, does your work uh, uh, does it include life or death matters for you? No. Does the organization you work for as one of its uh, primary uh, goals um, to send information? Yes. Do you work for WikiLeaks? <laughs> no. <laughs> Now we'll see the lights out there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that's crude. Uh, <laughs> we can't run down the clock. Go ahead, John. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Do you, uh, do you do you uh, do you work for Wikipedia? No. Two minutes and thirty seconds for Wikipedia. Well, that's it. There's no other nonprofits in the world. <laughs> Oh, we'll just name all the nonprofits and we'll get their uh, What biases exist on this group? <laughs> are, are you a founder of uh, the work that you do? No. Are you a specialist in the work that you do? Yes. Um, are, is is the, the, the number of people who do what you do uh, uh, less than 100? No. Does your job involve like telecommunications, like directly with clients? You mean phone calls? Oh, it's phone Skype. No. no. Uh, do, you, do you have a Do you have a very particular set of skills? That <laughs> yes. Uh, 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 Is this a creative job? Is it involved in creativity, or is it...? No. Okay. Well, I mean, I, every you job... Ask if she is directly creative? Yeah, that's what I, that's what I mean. You may ask the question, Jennifer. She said no. no. She still says no. Still no. Did your job in some form exist before the year 2000? Yes. That's where you guys are going wrong. Did your job in some form exist before 1970? Yes. <laughs> Did your job in some form exist before 1940? Yes. <laughs> Did your job 
grab in some form just before 1917. 1917. Yes. Did your job in some form exist before 1904? Yes. Well, your did I ask you? Uh, did your position with your nonprofit exist? Before 1970. Oh, I'm afraid we are out of time. Oh, yes. <laughs> and so that question will go unanswered. Jennifer, it's up to you if you want to reveal it or not, and it is fine with me if you don't. Because. I think that I should reveal it. Now, before she does, I just I want to say thank you again so much for being so game, because you truly came up to me and said, Please keep this in confidence, and I've done the exact opposite. <laughs> and you, the, when Molly, when you said, do you work for the Church of Satan, as a joke, that was probably as close as anyone got here. Because you forgot the story. She approached me. So Jennifer, do you want to reveal what your job is? And I really wanted to say that it does involve cats, but um, not technically, but no. I'm the... No, sorry, please. Uh, I'm the digital archivist for the Ayn Rand archives. Ladies and gentlemen, Jennifer. Hey, John, as a former professional What's My Line player, I never would have gotten that. No, you were not intended to. <laughs> let, let me ask, is that, a, is that a secular job where she neither... It's an atheistic job. Well, but I mean, she does, does she endorse the work of Ayn Rand? Or Ayn Rand, pardon me. Or is she uh, simply an archivist? As a well, I think Jennifer, uh, who is a normal private citizen, has been in the spotlight uh, long enough. If you wish to find her, I'd like to ask her that question. <laughs> Let's just say, you say that that's his new objective. Thanks, Willie. Uh, okay. uh, uh, if you have read the bylaws of the Joko Cruise, you're not meant to approach celebrities. Uh, and now I consider her a, a boat celebrity. And, and, thus, and thus her appearance here has worked to her profit. <laughs> it's time to play our next game, ladies and gentlemen. called No Stanton. No Stanton. Can you describe No Stanton? I shall, but let me get three more panelists up here, because this is a bigger game, this is a bigger game. So let me just see, could I, could I get, uh, uh, if they're here, uh, John Scalzi, Matt Fraction? Fraction had to go. Both, uh, Matt and uh, Kelly Sue, could you please come up? Oh, Fraction had to go, I thought you said Fraction is a go. I apologize. Scalzi, pick two people and bring them up. Or Kelly Sue, if you're here, pick one person and bring them up. 